Welcome to 6 at 6, presented by Vodafone. This is a Facebook Live show that's airing every day from the Comedy Festival at 6 o'clock on the Melbourne International Comedy Festival's Facebook page. My name's Sam Taunton. And I'm Nikki Britton, and tonight we are coming to you from Tasma Terrace, which is this beautiful old historic trust building uh, just behind Parliament House. And every... No, yeah? Parliament, yeah, Parliament, Parliament House. Station. She's not from Melbourne. I'm not from Melbourne. Oh, oh, oh. Um, but we are having 14 shows a night here, and it's... It's a pretty incredible place. It's had brilliant. I was chatting to Tom, uh, who's managing the venue before. Apparently, it's 120 years old, and there's all these incredible photos. And it's look, it's terrifying. I'm not going to lie; it's, it's absolutely terrifying. It's pretty terrifying. Look at this wallpaper. I mean, that's not even the most terrifying thing in here. This wallpaper. Um, we are very excited to be bringing you the news and the latest gossip. That's going to happen a little bit later in the program. But right now, we've got three of the fabulous Tasman Terrace comedians here to tell you the spookiest stories. Absolutely. We thought because it's so creepy. I'm, I'm pretty sure people have died here or, you know, there's some. Uh, there's a weird that, vibe when you walk in. Not so comedy die. I mean, I don't think anyone here... Are you talking about my show last night? Hey, Sam Jordan, you said we didn't want to bring it up You said you wouldn't bring it up. Well, let's not do this. Wait for it to not be live. Anyway, let's get these three fantastic comedians out here to uh, to talk, to tell us their scary stories. So first up, let's have the beautiful man, Joseph Green. Joseph Green, hi. How are you going? So, so great. How are you? <laughs> Joseph has kicked the light there, which we had a rehearsal of. He's, he's done that for the second time now. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just before you start, guys, we need you out there to be liking, to be love hearting. And funny face, laugh, funny laugh, face, laugh. Funny face, laugh. And let us know who you think's got the scariest story, but don't get too scared. It's, it's all going to be, it'll be a PG scared. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Joseph Green, hit us with your scaries. Well, when I was uh, back in school, I, uh, I watched a film called Psycho. Okay. And uh, I, was, uh, I got home from school and I told my dad I watched this film. And we'd only seen half the film, but I didn't tell him that. And then he said to, uh, he said to me, how scary is it that Norman Bates is his mother as well, and then he dresses as a woman. But I didn't know that. I was like, Dad, I didn't know that. Why did you tell me that? And so it became a more frightening thing, and I went to bed imagining Norman Bates dressed as his mother, and then uh, I was so frightened that I, I ran downstairs uh, into my parents' bed and uh, slept in between them oh. that night. And, uh, That's a happy story I <laughs> about loving your family. Yeah, but I was... I thought it was going to be really scary. It was I was waiting really... for you to get down there and then you got stabbed by Norman Bates. It was terrifying. And uh, it's not that scary. Now that I say it. <laughs> All right, Joseph, you've lost How, how old were you? How old were you when you were sleeping with your parents? I was 16 years old. That's scarier. Absolutely. That's, That's scarier. That's terrifying. You know what's not scary? This handsome man's hair. Thank you so much oh. for coming on 6 and 6. <laughs> Don't knock the line on your way out. No, Joseph Green. All right. Like, get out of here, Joseph Green. Let us know if you like Joseph Green. Next up. Oh, oh my God. He hit the line again. He literally kicked the line. Oh, my. Extraordinary. We gave you one chance and you've ruined it. Never again you'll go live. Okay. Next up we have Claire Healy. <laughs> Claire Healy. Um, Look at that. Claire she didn't hit Healy. the light. Well done. Even in heels. I know, right? They're ridiculous. Um, Just so you know. They are one of the scariest things in this room. I couldn't wear them. I would be on the floor. Claire, what's your story? Okay, so the, the scariest thing that's ever happened to me, I was touring through Wales oh. and I was doing a one-person show and I finished in Aberystwyth and I had to get back to London that night because I wanted to go to Paris the next day. So I thought I'd drive through the night. That's a good idea. I'll be fine. But it had been raining all day and I was listening to the radio and there were like cars being swept away and there were flood warnings and I thought, bugger it, I'm going to get home anyway. So I got in the car and if you've been to Wales, they just don't have phone reception or any reception. Okay. And so I was driving through the darkness and there was water coming across the road and then I ran out of radio reception. And so the only sound that I could get in the car was BBC Classic FM. Oh, my God. And they were having a Benjamin Britten organ special. Oh. And it was so I was driving through the dark with water on the road going... Oh, oh my God. It was not the that's best That's actually... That's probably... Also... Yeah, um, it's a lot of danger. Also, Drama. we should get Vodafone over there to Wales and sort out that phone reception problem. Yeah, I reckon I that'd be a really good idea, yeah. guys. Well, today, let, let us know if you like Claire's story. That actually is terrifying. I would have hated to be Thank in you. that situation. Yeah. Thank you. With added soundtrack, Claire Healy, ladies and gentlemen, tell us if she's your favourite. Finally, we've got Charlie Ranger. Uh, Charlie, tell us. Tell us. Yeah, okay. Um, this is terrifying, by yeah, the way. Yeah, this is a terrible decision. It's terrifying. I sweat bullets every night. But uh, one night, got home, was a bit inebriated, um, went to sleep, woke up, 
desperate for the toilet, really needed okay. to wee. <laughs> okay. When, uh, there it is. Oh, no, no there's more. <laughs> yeah. No, there's more. Went, went to the door. No door handle for the life of me. Put my hand at the top of the door, dragged it all the way down. No door handle. Went to the window. That's going to be too high. So in my state, I went to the end of the bed. Uh, my partner, my now fiancé, was sleeping in the bed. Uh, her jeans were on the ground, and I went, that's the next best thing. She what? woke up thinking there was rain on the roof and went, Charlie, what are you doing? That was the scariest moment I've ever had in no, my no, life. No, 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 that was the scariest that moment she's ever had. Your girlfriend's ever had. had. That was a... <laughs> well, we shared that scare, you know? Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Charlie oh, yeah, Ranger. Give it up to Charlie. Guys, tell us who your favourite story was. We're going to quickly finish up with the festival news. Righty on. Now, uh, the festival is well underway and a bunch of artists are adding new shows. This is huge. Ursula Carlson has added. Four extra shows, right? And it's not just normal room size shows. She's doing full town hall. So that's four extra town hall shows. So they're She's selling like hotcakes. I think Joseph Green's hit another light. He's trying. Um, also, other shows include uh, Joel Creasy's added extra shows. Ivana Rista Guetta has added extra shows. Arnie Donner, David O'Doherty, his kids' show. That's it. A visit with Nan in the Caravan, which we saw we're us there presenting from the other night. Richard Stubbs, Kel Bell Naves, and Arj Barker have all added extra shows. Go and check them out, guys. And if you're around, this guy is hosting up late at Max Watts tonight. Come along, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll see you tomorrow at 6 o'clock for 6 at 6, presented by Vodafone. My name's Sam Taunton. I'm Nikki Britton. See, see ya. ya.